online education through equitable use of technology in NEP 2020 framework. So we need to understand the online and digital education and what does NEP 2020 recommend or recognize about. As we have seen during recent pandemic time that the alternative modes of quality education and the tools are used where traditional and in-person modes of education are not possible. NEP 2020 recognizes the importance of therefore leveraging the advantages of technologies which could be used to impart online and digital education. The existing digital platforms, ongoing ICT-based education initiatives must be therefore optimized and expanded to meet the current and future challenges in providing quality education. So to meet any unprecedented, any uncertain situations in future, as a future challenges, we have to expand our infrastructure and ICT-based educational initiatives need to be strengthened and optimized. However, the benefits of online digital education cannot be leveraged unless the digital, unless the digital device is eliminated. So we have to provide equity. We have to address the equity uh, in the process of using technology in providing online and digital education. So online and digital education cannot be leveraged unless digital divide is eliminated through sincere effort, such as digital India or the availability of affordable computing devices in those areas or rural areas where the access is not very easily possible. And in the process, training plays also important role. The teachers are very important components in the process of education. So the teachers require suitable training and development to be effective online educators because it cannot be assumed that a good teacher in a traditional classroom will automatically be a good teacher in online education, online classroom. Similarly, online assessments also require some scientific and different approach because we have to understand the assessment mechanism or assessment method in the traditional classroom or traditional education would be different than that of online uh, mode of providing education. Certain types of courses such as performing arts and science, practicals, especially practicals have limitations in the online and digital education media that can be overcome to partial extent to some extent with innovative majors. Unless online education is blended with a lot of experimental and activity-based learning, it will tend to become simply a screen-based education with limited focus on social, affective, and psychometer dimensions of learning. And therefore, it has to be blended with experimental as well as other learning methods involving a lot of activities so that it can create interest and enthusiasm in learners. So what does NEP 2020 recommend? Pilot studies are to be carried out by the reputed institutes and agencies such as IGNO, NETF, IITs, IIITs, and NITs, a series of rather a series of pilot studies, so that we can evaluate the benefit of integrating the education with online education, and at the same time we can also mitigate the downsides of the blending of education with online mode. The results of these pilot studies will be publicly communicated and used for continuous improvement. The digital infrastructure, there is need to invest in creation of open interoperable public digital infrastructure to solve for India's scale. We know that how much scale is there, diversity, complexity, and device penetration. So interoperability is also important to deal with device penetration and variance. Tools and contents are also important. Appropriate existing e-learning platforms such as Swayam Diksha will be extended to provide teachers with a structured, user-friendly, rich set of assistive tools for monitoring progress of learners. We have to sincerely assess the progress made by the learners, students. Content creation, digital repository, and dissemination. Digital repository of content, including creation of coursework, learning games and simulations, augmented reality and virtual reality, based learning will also have to be developed. For fun-based, you know, activity-based learning, student-appropriate tools like apps, gamification of Indian arts and culture in multiple languages, if possible in mother languages, with clear operating instructions 
will also be created. Addressing digital divide, special focus on content in all Indian languages will be emphasized and required. Digital content will need to reach the teachers and students in their own medium of instruction as far as possible. So therefore, existing e-learning platform such as Diksha Swayam will be leveraged for creating virtual labs so that students have equal access to quality, you know, practical and hands-on experience, hands-on experimental based learning experiences. The possibility of providing adequate access to SEDGs uh, students uh, and teachers through suitable digital devices such as tablets with preloaded contents will be considered and developed so that disadvantaged you know, group of students can also get equal benefit of online education. Then comes assessment. Teachers will undergo rigorous training in learner-centric pedagogies. Learner-centric, our goal has not to be teacher-centric, but we have to be learner-centric. So the pedagogies also are also need to be are also to be developed accordingly. And how to become high quality online content creators using online teaching tools and platforms available. So regarding that, regarding that appropriate teaching is to be given to the teachers. Online assessment in a scientific methods and examinations. Appropriate bodies, agencies such as uh, as proposed in any uh, um, NEP, National Assessment Center, NAC, and other identified bodies will design and implement assessment frameworks encompassing design of competencies, portfolio, rubrics, standardized assessments, and assessment analytics will be developed by the appropriate agency. Studies will be undertaken to pilot new ways of assessment using education technologies focusing on specifically 21st century skills, the competence and the employability skills. Blended learning is a combination of, you know, traditional as well as online. So while promoting digital learning and education, the importance of face-to-face -face in, in person is fully recognized. But different effective models of blended learning, blended learning will be identified for appropriate replication of different courses and subjects. A research on online education emerges, NETP, NETF and other appropriate agencies will be set up uh, <clears throat> standards for contents, technologies, pedagogies for online digital teaching learning um, uh, activities. These standards will help to formulate guidelines for e-learning. The governance also plays an important role in providing necessary support and infrastructure for digital and online education. So creating a dedicated unit for uh, building a world-class digital infrastructure, educational digital content, capacity technology, and education is a journey. It's not a destination, it's a process, continuous process. And capacity will be needed to orchestrate the various ecosystem players to implement policy objectives. A dedicated unit for purpose of orchestrating the building of digital infrastructure, digital content and capacity building will be created in the ministry to look after e-education needs of both school and higher education. Thank you.